First of all, I will tell you why we are studying Thevenin's theorem. Then I will do a problem. Suppose we have a circuit like this and they are asking us to find the current flowing through this load resistor. We need to find the current flowing through this load resistor. What we will do? We will either do mesh analysis or we will do the node analysis and find the value of current flowing through this circuit or this load resistor. Now they change the value of load resistor. They placed a 5 ohm resistor here. Now they are asking us to find again. They are asking us to find the current flowing through this load resistor. What we will do? We will again start doing the mesh analysis or node analysis and find the value of current. Again they change the value of load. Again we need to do the whole process again. Instead of that up to this much up to this big circuit we can convert this big circuit into its equivalent circuit with a voltage source that is Thevenin's voltage VTH and a resistor in series with that that is our Thevenin's resistance RTH. This big circuit can be converted into its equivalent circuit with a voltage source and a resistance in series with that. Now if we know the value of this VTH and RTH if we are placing load here the calculation will be very easy because this big circuit we converted it into a small circuit. Now I will tell you how to do a Thevenin's theorem by solving a problem. In this question they are asking us to find the current through 6 ohm resistor. Where is 6 ohm resistor? Here. So that 6 ohm resistor will be our load resistor. Now to do Thevenin's theorem first of all identify the load resistor and remove that load resistor from the circuit. So we removed the load resistor from the circuit. So this is the remaining circuit. Now we need to find the open circuit voltage. We open the circuit here. By removing the load resistor we open the circuit. We need to find the voltage, open circuit voltage at this point. Okay. In order to find open circuit voltage, look at the current here. This is an open circuit. So the current flowing through this part, this mesh will be zero because this is open circuit. If it is a closed circuit, there will be a current, but here it is an open circuit. So the current flowing through this mesh will be zero. If the current flowing through this mesh is zero, the voltage across voltage drop across this resistor. How to find voltage drop? P equal to I into R. The voltage drop across this resistor will be zero because the current is zero. So V equal to zero. If the voltage drop in this resistor is zero, then whatever voltage we are getting here, that will be getting here also. Because the voltage drop is zero. Here nothing is dropping. Whatever we are getting here, that we will get here also. So if you can find the voltage at this point, it will be same. The value will be same for open circuit voltage. So we can find the voltage at this point. For finding the voltage at this point, we can use any method. We can use either mesh or node or even voltage division rule we can apply. So mesh analysis is easy for me. So I will do mesh analysis. So how to do mesh analysis? We will assume a current I1 flowing in the circuit. We will write the mesh equation. So this is minus 6 volt. So minus 6 then plus 2I1 plus 4 I1 minus I2. Do we need to take I2? I2 is 0. So we don't want to take I2. That is equal to 0. Now 4 plus 2, 6 I1. This minus 6 we are going to take after equal to. So 6, we will get the value for I1 as 1 ampere. So the value of I1 is 1 ampere. So what will be the voltage at this point? This 4 ohm resistor. Voltage equal to I into R. We have I value of i is 1 ampere the value of r is 4 ohm so the voltage will be 4 volt so the voltage across this resistor is 4 volt that will be our open circuit voltage the voltage that we are getting here is same here so the open circuit voltage will be 4 volt in Thevenin circuit the open circuit voltage is what we call as Thevenin's voltage so open circuit voltage or Thevenin's voltage is 4 volt. Thus we get the value of Thevenin voltage. Now we need to find the value of RTH. 
I found the open circuit voltage using mesh analysis. You can either use nodal analysis also. We will assume this node as V1 and we will write the nodal equation. Then also we will get the same answer. Now in order to find RTH, what we need to do is that in the circuit check the voltage source or current source. Okay. If there is a voltage source, voltage source is there, we need to short circuit that. If there is a current source, we need to open circuit. If there is a voltage source, we need to short circuit and there is a current source, we need to open circuit. So in this question, we have a voltage source. So what we need to do, we need to short circuit this path. We short circuited the voltage source path. Now we need to find the equivalent resistance. How will you find the equivalent resistance? 2 ohm and 4 ohm are in parallel. So 2 ohm parallel with the 4 ohm resistor. We will find the values 2 into 4 divided by 2 plus 4. So 4 into 2 it is 8, 4 plus 2 it is 6. Okay, 8 by 6 is the value of our new resistor. Now this 8 by 6 resistor is in series with the 2 ohm resistor. So we will add in resistors are in series so we will add the resistor so 8 by 6 plus 2 it will be 6 plus 2 6 into 12, 12 plus 8 it is 20 20 by 6 that will be 10 by 3 it will be around 3.33 ohm that will be our equivalent resistance so we got the value of RTH this is our Thevenin's resistance RTH we will get the value as 3.33 that is our RTH now we can draw the equivalent circuit. The equivalent circuit consists of Thevenin's voltage. Thevenin's voltage it is 4 volt and in series with the resistance RTH. RTH it is 3.33 ohm. This is our equivalent circuit. Now connect the load resistance back. We First of all we open the circuit. So now we need to connect it back. So our load resistance was 6 ohm. In the question we need to find current through 6 ohm resistor. We can do mesh analysis to find the current minus 4 plus 3.33i plus 6i is equal to 0. 3.33 plus 6 it will be 9.33i equal to minus 4 we are going taking that side. So 4 you will get the value of i as 4 divided by 9.33. We will get the answer as 0.428. In the next video, I will tell you how to do Thevenin's theorem when you have a dependent source in the question. Either it can be a voltage source or it can be a current source. The procedure, there is some small difference in the procedure. I will tell you how to do Thevenin's theorem when you have a dependent source in the next video.